Hey guys, Monarch here. We're doing a vlog today because I'm currently working on changing the desk behind me to better reflect who I am. So I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along on this journey to make the desk more aesthetic than it currently is. This is the desk as it stands currently. Um, it's different, obviously, than it was in my first two videos. Because I've already made changes in preparation for everything that's going to be happening today and tomorrow and the day after so up here above the desk it's i want to make it look a little bit more like sort of um the only word i can think to describe it is like adventure core <laughs> i suppose so like a mixture between victorian and librarian and Traveler all in one bundle. But that's what this shelf is going to be. I've already organized some items up here that will help with that aesthetic, but this is definitely not how it's going to look when everything is said and done. And then we bring ourselves over here to the cork board and I'm going to make a map. I've cut out this piece of paper that is going to, that I'm going to turn into like a map and that will be pinned up there with these other smaller sheets of paper that I cut out and aged to make them look old. And that will be pinned to the map. Um, to sort of tell where I've like traveled to in like a sort of story book style thing. And so with all of that said, it is currently Wednesday. I'm waiting for the first batch of packages to come soon and I'm feeling very impatient. It is so hard to wait for stuff to come. At long last, stuff has arrived. We'll start with this one. Get the other side. The mint green globe. I was hoping I would get one of the ones. The globes that they sell, they sell them in an assortment of colors, so if you order online there is no guarantee of which color globe you will end up with. Very happy that I got this one. Doesn't look like the globe came with a stand. The other thing I ordered were Two strands of flowery garlandy stuff. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's really pretty, um, but it's just sort of like a vine with leaves and berries and things on it. So these will go across the top of the board and around the top of the desk. So let's get this out of the way and then we will open the other one. Okay, so we've got the next one ready. Cut the sides. Get 
get the other side. And cross. Cross the top. a tassel with it. That's so cute. I can get the tassel off later. Oh well, okay. This is going to take a lot of doing. Give me a second. So I flipped through them and sorted them by genre. We have fiction here, short stories, and nonfiction. And y'all, if I tell you, <laughs> I am so excited to read these. I can't believe that they were sold just to be decorative books because they all sound so interesting. Really excited to have those. When they sent me these books, they also sent this cute little um, golden tassel with them. So I think I'm going to use this um, and put it on the end of a cloth bookmark. I've got some ribbon I can embroider and add this to the end of it to make just a cute little bookmark for these books and I think I'll make a few different bookmarks to go in these. Partly for show and also because I've got all of these nice vintage books now I'm not sure I want to just use plain Jane paper bookmarks. Another cool thing in this book here I flipped through it and realized that whoever owned it last some number of years ago left behind their bookmark which was a scrap from a newspaper with the day's horoscope on it 19 f 1940, I think. I'm going to assume this was from 1940. Because the next date that after November they show March and then 1941 so yeah whoever owned this last if they tore out this piece of paper from the newspaper and just left it in here for like 60 years which has unfortunately left this massive brown stain in the middle of the book but I suppose there's nothing I can really do about that I'm really excited to have this scrap of old newspaper <laughs> I also found it hilarious that when the company that made this book, they made it as like a set of um, as a set of books with various traditional pieces of um, 
various traditional pieces of literature. So given that this is a reprint of the original story, I'm not sure when the actual story was written. But anyway, I found it funny that um, this book is called The House of Seven Gables, and it is the seventh book in this literature series, <laughs> which leads me to believe that whoever created this series of books, I'm assuming Spencer Publications, it says over here, the Spencer Press. Um, so that leads me to believe that the Spencer Press knew exactly what they were doing when they made this the seventh book in the series. So yeah, I'm excited to have these books. I'm kind of baffled that I wound up with books that I am thoroughly interested in when these were just again, being sold as a set of books for decoration. Um, I definitely did not expect to find nonfiction books that I would be interested in. I think there's only one that I'm, like, kind of not gunning for. Uh, let me see... I think I was feeling sort of iffy about Lions Under the Throne. It looks to be a book about, well, um, that. But I don't know, it might be interesting. Okay, so you guys aren't going to believe me, but all I've done so far is put up the books the Garland and the Globe, and it already looks amazing. I can't believe how drastic of a change it is just with just those three things. I love it so much already, and it's not even done yet. Um, so far, this is just all I can do. I've also put the other Garland on the bulletin board, or the cork board, um, and it's also looking really cool, I love it, uh, but I am still waiting for stuff to come in, so I've got a couple more days to wait for stuff to come in, um, tomorrow I'll work on the stuff that's going to go up there, I don't have time to do it today. But, uh, it's, it's coming together so well. I love it so much. Like, if ever there was a shelf that was just me, this is it. It is now Thursday. I'm finally sitting down for lunch. And, as you can see, I have changed my wallpaper on my desktop to be more consistent with my aesthetic. So yeah, I'm going to eat lunch and then we will get started doing the map thing. Okay, so we are back from lunch. I've gotten things set up to do the map. Um, I've got my five inks out here. I don't know how well this is showing up, but I can at the very least turn the labels around so that you guys can see. Um, you can probably hear my dishwasher running in the background. I'm not about to apologize for it. I'm a human. I use dishes. Woo! Uh, so we've got our five colors of ink here. We've got five little pans here so that I can water it down. Probably going to use these two brushes and a 
these two brushes and a set of uh, nibs and a pen to do this, I think. And I think also for the nibs to work, I'll have to dip into the bottles. I know that's not technically kosher, but these little pots are not deep enough for me to dip into. The nibs are simply way too long. So we'll work with what we've got. I've got to get the camera set up. I'm not going to be recording audio for this because this is literally just me drawing a world map. Well, not the world's most engaging content. So, uh, so yeah, we'll do the map and some of our documents on all of these pieces of paper that I've made and go from there.
almost like magic. It is done. Is there a single part on this map that is perfect? No. Is it cool? Yes. I'm going to let this thing dry and go make myself some dinner. And we'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, with more packages to open and this thing fully dry so I can move on to other things. Hey guys, it is now Friday. Popping in really quickly to go over what has been done. So, a box from Target came today and it, in it were these cute little um, fake potted plants. I thought they were going to be bigger than this, but actually this works out much better than the bigger size would have. So, that came and then also, these um, baskets came. I don't remember what it is that they said they were made of. But anyway, it's these woven baskets. They kind of match the pre-existing um, woven basket organizer thing that I have here. So, I have one up here showing you that I actually have... I actually have makeup. And then we have another one underneath my monitor um, holding various things that I reach for frequently but don't really look good sitting out on their own. I finished the um, thing, the map, um, and I moved the posters up there. I think they look better up there and I have nowhere else for them to go. so. That's where they'll be. Also, over here behind this, we've got my Hunta Killer pins. I'm using these as push pins on the board because I think, I mean, it's it's the only use that I have for them. So, on to more exciting news. We have a package downstairs, so I'm going to run down and get it and bring it back and unbox it with you guys. Hip hip hooray, we are back with our box. So let's open it and see what is inside without cutting off our fingers. Here we are. This is the store that I got this from. Very nicely packaged. I think we can just rip it and make this clip. And inside this, yeah. the train. Oh, this is so cool. Um, Oh boy, my hands are going... I didn't think about this, but it is made from coal, so my hands are going to get a little bit dirty handling it. But that is fine. Look at that. Oh, it looks so cool. I am so happy with this birch. 
And it's so detailed, too. That works pretty well, I think. Sitting there in all of its glory. It looks really nice in amongst all of the other things. Hello again. It is me. I have just finished the orange piece. If you want to see what that looks like, then you can go and watch the video right about here if I have managed to figure out how to do the eye curves. I'm waiting for more stuff to ship in. It was all supposed to be here today, but it hasn't come. Hey there. It's been a few months since I filmed the last clip that you saw, so everything that I was waiting for then has arrived. So let's go over some of the changes because now everything back here looks different than it did in the before clips. Starting up here, um, everything is generally the same. I've added a few notebooks and journals and things. Um, <clears throat> the big thing that I was waiting for were these adorable copper animals. I just think they're cute and they add a nice little pop of color. Oh. This is from Jazza's incredible inky box. Um, it was one of the exclusives in there and I used or attempted to use it for the map? I don't recall anymore. That was the thing that I got, the unicorn there, was the thing that I got for Christmas and <clears throat> put together, stuck it up there. And down here, we have this cute little bronze elephant that came in the um, little animal set from Target. And back here, we have this tiny little model Mayflower. Um, it isn't the world's best quality, but it's cute. So, as you can see, some of these um, threads aren't tensioned very aren't tensioned very well. So, but it's still cute. And also this flag right here um, is choosing to just be wherever instead of letting the side be on the string. But anyway, cute little bitty ship that I stuck down here. Those are tools for resin. Another one of the little flower things that came in the set. Really happy that they wound up being that size instead of something bigger. Because now that it's here, I don't know what I would do with something bigger. Moving up from here. Um, this is my video, video games shelf that I'm just adding things to as I get them. Um, this little box and this stone are from Hunt a Killer. Same with that little crystal thing. I don't know what's up with that crystal thing yet because I haven't even started the case that that goes with. But anyway, uh, and another one of the little plant thingies. The makeup thing, as mentioned before. Um, and right above this, this was the box art for my um, Wacom Intuos Pro Medium. I thought it looked really pretty, so I cut it out and saved it for when I could get a frame for it so that I could stick it up somewhere. And it works out really nicely with everything else. Over here, we have the art from the bottoms of the two of Jazz's boxes that I ordered. Um, I figured it was probably one of the only times I would ever have a chance to own some of Jazz's 
artwork, so I cut it out and framed it. And so I think that does it for this vlog. I guess that's what you would call this. It feels good having my desk put together. You know, I'm really glad that I have this nice decorated space to come to and be creative and do various creative things. Um, so yeah, and I also had a lot of fun editing this video. I wasn't really expecting it to be that fun, but I, I really did enjoy it. Um, so expect more vlogs from me in the future. It's a fun way for me to make some uh, content quickly that I can then spend hours editing so that I can continue practicing my editing skills and improving those without having to put hours into filming every video that I make. So expect more of these to help kind of buffer out the um, content that takes a while um, so that hopefully it won't be so long between every video that I make. I'm trying to work to close the gap between videos and vlogs are probably going to be the most helpful. So that's it. If you enjoyed going on this journey with me, feel free to like the video. If you would like to go on more journeys with me in the future, then subscribe to my channel. And if you have any other ideas for future journeys you would like for me to go on, then leave a comment. Because I keep mentioning this, but I'm not telepathic. So if you have an idea that you want me to try, then you need to leave it down there so that I can know what you're thinking. I can't know what you're thinking if you don't tell me. So, leave a comment, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more. See you later.